Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 17 first impression. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Woodshire map, which is released today on the Mod Hub in game. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Right off the bat I hear sheep. Oh, you got to sneeze when I do my videos, what the heck? Okay, so the sheep, oh, okay, so we got some tractors right off the bat. Uh, looks like our starter tractors so far. Sheep, um, maybe they're behind this garage. Okay, it lists the sheep being right here. Where are they? I hear them. Where are you, sheep? There's more of our tractors. Where the heck are these sheep? They are not where the icon is on the map. Okay, here we go. So it looks like uh, there's already some food for them, which is good. Hey, sheeps. So it looks like it already started off with some, which is a little cool. Let's speaking of that. So here's our map. Cows and pigs. Uh, let's see. A couple places to sell. Search off some good amount of grain. Let's see how many animals we got. Okay, so it looks like it just starts off with some 10 sheep. So, and 25 grand to start off with, the normal. Um, so this looks like it's the farm. I think we've explored everything here. Let's grab our New Holland to take a gander around everything. So, small little farm, everything's pretty tight, so I'm assuming it's a small map to go along with a small farm, because you ain't going to get a semi in there, or you can, but it's just going to be weird, so. Uh, you own a couple fields right off the bat, let's go take a look at the pigs first. Actually, we'll take a look at the uh, McLear biogas plant first. Yeah, some nice hills, which is nice, I don't like flat. Okay, so we're going to go up here to the biogas plant. Ooh, dirt road. Awesome. Bears. Ha. So that's all the woods up there, it looks like, and even further. So here's our biogas plant. Ways you coming in. Two big silage pits. And then our cell point. And then a nice clean getaway. Speaking of getaway, let's, um, not really, but. Okay, so missions work. 175 grand for this field. 16. Uh, okay. Doesn't look like there's any, you know, main large field on the map. Maybe 17, I guess. Alright, so now let's head south to the pigs and we'll check out the animal. Mary's farm or whatever they want to call it here. Looks nice so far. We'll see if there's vehicles or traffic or anything in town, which I'm assuming is over by the spinnery and the bakery and such. So Mary's Farm here is out of the way. It's not called Mary's Farm. I guess there's no name for it, but it's what it is. Emerson. Okay, maybe it's not Mary's Farm. Emerson. Stock. Maybe that's <laughs> your typical stock place. Okay, so here. Emerson's Livestock Market. Maybe it's Emerson's on all the maps. It's just maybe on that initial Goldcrest map, or I think it was Goldcrest. Um, I think that's maybe it's just where I'm getting the name from, because it's right next to Mary's Farm, I guess. This is, I like these barns. They're very cool. So here's our pig area. And I don't think we have any other vehicles here. It looks like a large pig area, which is cool. So we got our feed and our water troughs. I think our chickens are over here too. And here's it looks like is our 
silage, because that seems to be an issue on a lot of maps, is silage. Where the heck is it? So, this one's by the pigs. Alright, what else we got here? Yeah, we'll drive around through the country here, so you guys can scope out the rest of what the area looks like. Make a way long curve around. So, here's a, looks like maybe a more Americanized farm, seeing how it's American flag. Um, what's, what's here though? Oh, it's pretty run down though. So I don't know what, maybe this is just an alternate place you can store your stuff at. That's got to be the, from the Slovsnovska map. Superior Harvester. Alright, ain't nothing else this way. So just some stuff you can buy. Land. With lots of just dead space. For either expanding or for grass. So that way you don't have to make a dedicated grass field. Alright, we're not going to drive through the woods because that might not end well. Some railroad tracks. Looks like they are in. Um, it looks like oh, this is a weird, freaking traffic circle. Yes, get over there. Jeez. Okay, so the gray looks like it goes all the way around the map, so that's the train, so it looks like it works, and it's just one big UE around the map. And it doesn't look like it has any particular drop-off point except for the Maplefield Mill. Uh, there should be another point, though. I don't know where it is. Okay, I assume this is our shop. No, this isn't a shop. This is just... Something. Stanton sawmill. We'll probably set it on the map. Yeah, sawmill and right agribusiness over here. Just I don't know what the ponce is. Oh, ponce, because that's the ponce is the um it's the equipment in game for what do you call it? For logging. Alright, we got a gas station up here. It looks to be our only gas station. But at least it's not at the farm, so that's nice. Alright, let's check out up here really quick. We'll go okay, there's Mary's farm barn. So here's our town ish. Very country town. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's a nice look. Alright, and this is gonna. I like the look of this, the way he did it. You know, it's not the biggest map, but I like the look. I haven't seen... This is nice. Give me flashbacks of... Uh, FS-15. Um, but the way the... I don't know, just the way everything is uh, set up, I can't really describe the aesthetic to it. But like this building right here just being right next to the road like this, just the way it's positioned and everything and right over here, it's just... I don't know, it's very... It's different. Um, and it's not... I like it. It's kind of just a different touch on how things are, because I, you know, there are places, you know, even where I'm from, like little towns and stuff that are just little quaint towns like this, I guess you could say, for lack of a better words. And things are just right off the street like that. So I like it. And lots of trees there too, which is nice. Alright, here's the rest of our town. So we did have some cars. And we have foot traffic over here that I can drive through, thank goodness. 
I kill enough people in um, Gold Crest, yeah. I kill enough people on accident in Wildlands. I don't need to do it in this game. Alright, so this is our shop. It's easy to get into. Wide for trailers. Not that you should need it on this map, but um, not a huge area in here, but you know, don't be going on buying tons of equipment at once because I don't know where it'll end up. Alright, then last but not least is the cows. Dun dun dun. So this is a nice little map. It offers from a little bit more variance than Shellington. Um, the farm itself is nothing special, but um, you know, unlike you know, it's going to be hard to. It's hard for a map to beat the Shellington farm the way it is. But you know, as far as everything else on the map, uh, there's not as much traffic like Shellington, but you know, everything else is kind of nice. It's a little bit bigger and more roads and stuff. Alright, so there's our water. That's where the cows are going to come in. And then our feeding trough in here. And just, what, are we going to have loose cows again, like usual? I don't know. I don't know why it's built like this, why maps do that, but... I like just having loose animals, but... Unless we can just shut the door here. No, nothing to shut, I guess. I don't like that. And a lot of maps do that, just leave it open. It's like cows could just leave and walk down the road if they wanted. Never seen that before, or maybe I just never noticed it. I wonder if those are like salt licks or something, even though they're red. I don't know. Or maybe the cows go under them just to brush them, maybe ma massage them or something. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Well, this is the map, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got to see everything that's needed. And let me know down in the comments uh, what you think, you know, if I, if I missed anything that you wanted me to point out in future videos or whatnot. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.